Hello everyone. We want to continue from where we stopped. So right here, we have a situation at hand where remember the last time I wanted to teach you about. Uh, I want to teach you on uh, uh, contact again. Remember we created contacts the other time, right? And then when we created contact, we found out that it was pending. It wrote pending. If you if you can remember, go to video two, getting started with that mode of video two. You'll notice that right there it was pending. Do you know why it was pending back then? It was pending because the person you sent it to was gonna is gonna receive an email. And the person once the person receives an email, the person is gonna click on it and then have to accept it. Alright. So once the person accepts that, once the person accepts to be included in the class list. Or in the email list or in the contact list if the person accepts then good so now it shows right here that the person has accepted because it's no longer pending the person has accepted so for instance if you send so many contacts this is how to create a contact again you type the name of the contact that you click on add contact so if you have so many contacts they will all drop down here so the beauty about contact is that you can come over here you can chat with the contact privately get this right here I can decide to say, um, I can chat with the person privately. So I can chat with the person privately. Now that's the advantage of putting people in your contacts. So I can chat with the person privately. I would like to meet with you today, bye. I would like, now this is going to be good for teacher parent conferencing. I like to meet with you by 1 p.m. Then, uh, these are emojis. You can download the emojis and the likes. I'm not going to go into that place. So I'm just going to click on enter. See? You've sent it. Do you understand now? You've sent it. That's the beauty about this thing. Oh, that's the beauty. You've sent it. Now, you go back to your contact again. This is the person right here then see video remember for instance you've called the person or you've text the person remember you've chatted with the person right and i made it to by 1 pm so when it's around that let's say for instance it's about is around that 1 50 or 1 uh, sorry 12 50 or 12 55 you can just click on meeting so you wait for the person okay we didn't end the meeting the other time Okay, can you see right here that there's a call going on? So your call, it looks like a call. It's not, it looks like a call because you're trying to invite the person to the meeting. So the person has to now accept. The person is going to look at it, see it like a call. The person is going to accept it. Once the person accepts it, uh, where is it? Okay. I think we saw we saw a notification right okay the person is going to click on join okay the person is going to click on join with video uh join yeah okay it's the person that's going to click on it. so the person is going to click on join with video the parent is going to click on join with video once the parent clicks on join with video very interesting i tell you very very interesting you need to explore zoom very interesting that's why it's good to create a contact with parents just have the contact of parents on your list Create contacts, send it to them. They are the ones to accept your contact. Once they accept your contact, it's no longer under pending. It will now be there. So you can chat with them privately. You can have a meeting with them one-on-one -on -one privately. So now I can then admit.